Well, 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 check this out. We're starting a video in the morning for the first time in a very, very long time. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning. It's still dark outside. Anyhow, we're gonna have to turn on the light here. Can't see nothing. So I know it's been, again, a while since I uploaded a video. It's been about a week and I apologize about that. Now the reason is we were supposed to have another truck sitting in the driveway, but uh, because of everything that's going on in the world right now, there's a trucker shortage and everything like that. Our brand new 2021 Ford Raptor is just sitting at the factory. It was supposed to have arrived last week, but it's not here yet. So poor us, we're just stuck with the, uh, the pink Raptor. Uh, that's a giveaway truck now, by the way. I've only mentioned this in one video. We'll talk more about that here a little later in the video. And then we have the F-150. So I've been planning on doing all these videos with the new truck, and then it didn't arrive, so here we are. Anyhow, uh, we have some awesome content coming up with the R8 here very, very soon. I'm taking this on a road trip down to Miami area with a friend of mine, uh, and we're doing exotics on La Sola. So I'm gonna drive this car for, probably like 3,000 mile road trip because it's 1,250 miles down there from here and then obviously going home but then we'll be down there driving around for a little bit and the car already has its 20,000 mile service. I only have about 9,500 miles on the car because it has something called Audi care but anyhow a lot of babbling here now what I want to do is like an in-between oil change because it is a v10 they suck oil like crazy so we are taking it to the Audi dealership today to get an oil change now with Audi care you don't have to pay for service but when you want to do one of these like impromptu in-between oil changes uh, they will indeed charge you I don't know what it's gonna be yet so it'll be kind of interesting to see what uh, an oil change is for a car like this kind of like running costs and that kind of thing and since we lowered it as well i have yet to get an alignment i don't want the tires to be wearing unevenly uh, so just to be on the safe side when we're about to drive for about 3,000 miles we're going to get a couple things done here on the r8 let's go so we got to do some rearranging here cold start ford raptor i mean this truck is absolutely awesome but uh, the cold starts <laughs> Not the most exciting thing in the world. This, however. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we had a V6, V8. Time for a V10 cold start. Let her rip. So we had 5,600 on the odometer when we bought it. It's 9,500 now. So about 4,000 miles, mainly just puffing around town and, you know, not really taking any long trips. So it's going to be extremely interesting to uh, take it on a road trip down to the Miami area. Uh, and we'll see how it does. The only thing I'm worried about is these seats right here. So these are like the Recaro's upgraded for racing or whatever. It's not the stock, you know, quilted leather, nice, I guess, comfort seats, which I would have preferred. This is like the only thing I don't want in the car are these seats, but it came with it, so I can't really change it. I mean, I probably could, but like, I didn't inspect the car myself. So yeah, uh, I'm just hoping my back does all right. Oh, it's gonna be awesome to drive this crackle machine down there. No, but in all seriousness, I'll probably just be driving it in like normal mode. Valves off. Look at that difference. I mean, it's like Tesla mode. You can hear. You can't hear anything because when the valves are open and you're driving around in this type of speed, there's actually a minor little drone that you can hear from the exhaust, and it sits right behind you. You know the engine and the exhaust and I don't think I won't be driving it in like performance mode valves open for 1200 I, 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 I'm not gonna do that I never even used this drive select button here but if we push it 
you know, you got comfort is the normal. I thought it was called normal. <laughs> I'm never here messing around. And then you got auto and dynamic and everything, but normal mode is probably what I'll be driving in. And, uh, you know, it's an Audi. So it can be very comfortable when you drive it in normal mode. But for now, we're not driving in stupid normal mode. Get that. Now, normally when I drive the car, I always have it in this performance mode or whatever it's called setting for the instrument cluster. So you have a tachometer in the middle and then I have uh, my tire uh, pressure and temperature and stuff on the left there and then you have power and torque on the right. Now once we go on this road trip, I'll definitely be driving in, whoa, we almost crashed it, this mode right here. So this is the virtual cockpit type mode and I can zoom in and zoom out with this button right here, look at that. So when I'm driving, I'll be using Waze on my phone, but uh, I'll be having this map up as well because I like to see like how close I am to the different states that we're driving through and all that stuff. So look at that. I love this feature right here, and I know that this is on several other Audis as well, but it's, it's still, it's a cool feature. <laughs> look how far you can scroll out. Yeah, I dig it. So look at that. Travel time to Fort Pitt Tunnel, which is one mile, is nine minutes. So we're stuck in good old Pittsburgh morning traffic here. And this is the way it is when you drive downtown Pittsburgh. There's two lanes. Two stupid lanes. That's it. I mean, it widens up a little bit right before the tunnel, but pretty much you're driving two lanes for miles to get downtown Pittsburgh. It's so stupid. It takes forever. Sucks. And now when we get to the tunnel, still two lanes. Um, and I can't really do any cool tunnel runs. We'll try though. I'll, I'll always try to hook you guys up. At least try. See? Stop. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's such a child. I love it. Always take this way right here uh, but it says authorized personnel only <laughs> I noticed that like the second time I drove up here but uh, yeah it's the, the whatever it's the best entrance to get to Audi of Pittsburgh drop her off uh, get an oil change oh look at that I guess they knew I was gonna do this <laughs> what the so how how do I get out of here they're blocking it yeah I guess this is what happens when you try to cheat because I need to go that way not up here yeah, see, they have a car blocked right there, too. <laughs> I mean, I get it. They don't want people to drive through here, like, at night and stuff, but... Uh, but it's one way that way. And I can't drive back down, so I'm kind of, like, stuck here. All right, so I went and talked to the service department. I explained I was trying to cheat, whatever. And they just laughed at me, but... <laughs> so, yeah, see, they just unlocked his car. So he found the keys for it. And the reason they blocked this off here, apparently, because this is downtown Pittsburgh, people would drive up here and like park stolen cars and stuff like that or, or cars they were trying to hide from the police for whatever reason uh, so they started blocking it off at night so people can't get in here and I completely understand so yeah you're supposed to drive around here and make a right turn after the building but it's always easier to do it here so I guess last time I'm doing that Let's go, Brandon. I have no idea how that came on there. All right, so we're all parked up here. Look at this nice RS5. I love, I'm assuming this is Nardo Gray. Uh, still love this color. This is a great looking car. Very quiet though. I'm disappointed they don't still have a V8 in there, but yeah. At least I got a V10. So it's such a shortage of vehicles for all dealerships and all manufacturers, really. So they don't have a loaner for me. So what they do is they provide a lift, which is coming in like two minutes. But until then, we got a nice Gen 1 here. I like it. This is a Spider too. And it always sits right here. Every time I come here, this car sits right here. So I'm wondering if it's someone that works here. I'm assuming so. Uh, if it's a customer car, the dude like never comes and picks it up. All right, we're moving quickly in today's video. Audi obviously not here, we're back home. And we're gonna talk about the Raptor real quick. I haven't mentioned this in like over a week, so I feel like I need to. If you guys don't know already, the new giveaway vehicle on the channel is our 2018 Ford Raptor wrapped in 
bubblegum pink. Now, I'm gonna mention this in every video where we talk about the giveaway is, for the person who wins, if they don't want the pink, I mean, I can somewhat understand if you don't want the pink, but I do think that you should keep it though. But if you don't want it, we'll have it unwrapped for you. It is indeed lead foot gray underneath here. Beautiful color. <laughs> for the person that's like, yeah, I want to wrap it, but I don't want a pink one. You don't have to have a pink one. You can have a lead foot gray one if you want. Although you should keep the pink for a little while. That's just, you know, I mean, you get so much attention. It's funny. Anyhow, we got some new awesome wheels. These are the Black Rhino Shredders. We have some new toils on there as well, little wider tires. We did a little leveling as well, so it sits higher up here in the front. Nothing crazy, but the truck just sits so much better now. I mean, look at it, it's dope. Next to my truck, which is also dope, but th this just sticks out more, it's cooler. The giveaway is going on till December 12th, and all you have to do to enter is be either a United States citizen, the continental states or a Canadian citizen and be of legal age. We've got tons of cool new merch at autovlog.com. One of them is these sunglasses here. We got new t-shirts, hoodies, all, all that good stuff. So if you find an item at the store that you like, you're automatically entered to win our 2018 Ford Raptor. So every dollar spent at autovlog.com equals 10 entries. So a t-shirt, for instance, 30 bucks, that's 300 entries, simple math every dollar spent is 10 entries to win our Ford Raptor. You could be someone that drives around in this truck in uh, about a month and a half. Now this is actually a possible life-changing opportunity for someone because of the way the market is right now. This truck is still valued at around fifty-five dollars to $60,000 retail. It was 70,000 brand new, but uh, you know, just the way the market is currently, these go for around 55 grand. This is 802A package as well, so it's fully loaded. Take your chance right now before we pick the Audi back up. Go to autoblog.com, find some cool merch that you like, and secure your entries. Hurry up, do it right now. So we are back from our first uh, service appointment with the R8 that we actually had to pay for because this was not covered by Audi Care. And yeah, it was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. This is by far the most expensive uh, oil change that I've ever had on any car. It's more expensive than the AMG, the Ferrari, the trucks combined. I mean, it's freaking nutty. I guess it's because it's a mid-engine car, rear-engine car, um, and, and it's trickier to get in there and stuff. I mean, I'm just assuming. It takes a long time. You guys saw in the beginning of the video, we were driving downtown at like 7.45. Now it's 5.45 and I just got home. So, I mean, the car's been gone for like 10 hours. I mean, and I'm not really complaining about that or anything. It's just that it takes longer for this car to get something simple done. So what we got done was an oil change. Obviously you need oil filter and all that stuff. And then it's basically the labor that cost because of the, the, how time consuming it is, I guess. Uh, I got a new battery in my key fob free of charge. Topped off the engine coolant, uh, also free of charge. So as I hope you guys can see here, 99 bucks for parts. $378 for labor. So that's $477 for an oil change, mainly paying for the labor. <laughs> to me, I mean, you know, with all the costs and stuff that's involved in having this business and everything, that's really nothing. But it's just the oil change itself. Like when I, for the Ferrari, I didn't pay anything because of Ferrari's uh, maintenance plan thing. I've always been very curious of what it would have cost though if you pay for it outright and you're out of this maintenance plan like your car is old enough. I don't know. Um, I even called the Ferrari dealership back in the day when I had the car and, and just to ask them like, have you ever had like an F12 come in that's not covered by the seven year maintenance plan? And they're like, no. So they, the guy didn't even know himself, which is kind of weird. I mean, I guess he could have figured that out, but he didn't. So $477 for an oil change on the R8. We also got an alignment that was $149. So all in all, the bill was, $643.30. Now, I did get a 20% discount because of uh, Audi Club membership. 
So it ended up being $554, which is, I mean, it's not really that bad. But the, the, just the oil change in itself, $477 retail price. So granted, I didn't pay $477 because it's 20% off, but that's what it costs. If you don't have an Audi Club membership, it's $477 for this thing right here. But at least now she's taken care of, you know, uh, she's all good to go for the road trip that we have coming up. Uh, the wheels are fine, alignment, all that good stuff. But with that, I think we're going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. Uh, again, I apologize for the lack of uh, uploads here for like almost 10 days or whatever it is. Been waiting on this stupid Ford Raptor to get here. I hope this whole truck shortage thing and whatever it is that's making it take so long for us to get it. I hope that is uh, taken care of here so we have it next week. We, I do have cool videos planned for you guys before. I even uh, go on this uh, Miami trip here in the R8. I just can't help it that the truck is taking so damn long to get here. Until then, like we mentioned earlier, the wrap that we do have in the driveway could be yours. So go to autoblog.com, secure your entries. It could be in your driveway in the month of December. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.